Oh my god, Sparky. I cannot sleep. I have tremendous, tremendous heartburn. I should have never eaten all that Mexican food before I went to bed. I need an antacid really really bad. Deke. Ha 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 ha. Damn it, Deke. Please, not tonight. I'm feeling kind of sick. And my head, my throat, and my chest feel like they're on fire. <laughs> I should have known. You ate too much Mexican food again and overdid it? When will you ever learn, you crazy kid you? Maybe, never. And you know what? I like Mexican food. And I don't really care about how much I eat. Well, in that case, I think it's time to scare the poop out of you. Literally, scare the poop out of you. Ha 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 ha. Um, gentlemen? I hate to interrupt, but, Andrew, you have a visitor who wants to see you. He says it's very important that he sees you right now. Well, if it's that important, bring him in here. Okay. Sir, you can go in now. Andrew will see you now. Are you kidding me? The person who needed to see me is a duck? Well, it's not every day you see a duck walking into a kid's bedroom. Got any bread? No. Got any bread? No. Got any bread? No. Got any bread? No. And if you ask me one more time, I'll nail your beak to the wall. Got any nails? No. Got any bread? That's it. Sparky. Get him. Quack quack oops. Hecaroonie, our dog Sparky just trampled that poor duck to smitharoonies. Well, you know what this means, don't you? No. What does it mean? This means we will be eating duck soup for dinner. Hey. Save me some too, will ya? Don't worry, boys. I will put the duck in the pot and then we can have it for dinner tomorrow night. <laughs>